Energy cannot be destroyed. It is transferred from one form to another. When an object falls, it loses its gravitational potential energy, GPE, and gains kinetic energy, Ke. This is known as mechanical work. The speed of a freely falling object increases very quickly. It accelerates at nearly 10 meters per second per second. The GPE stored by an object is at its maximum at its maximum height and its Ke is zero because it is not moving. When the object falls to its rest, its GPE is at its minimum and has been transferred to its Ke which is then at its maximum. The mechanical energy is the sum of the GPE and the Ke. The GPE depends on mass, height and the gravitational strength of the planet that the object is on. The Ke depends on its mass and its speed, velocity. In this experiment, a falling object is simulated by dropping a card from a known height. Its speed is measured just above the ground before it lands. First, a straight line is drawn across the middle of the card. This helps to identify the exact height that it will be dropped from. Then, the mass of the card is measured and recorded. The meter rule is attached against one stand and the light gate is attached to another stand towards the bottom end at 0.1 meters, 10 centimeters above the tabletop. The light gate is set up to measure a width of 0.05 meters, 5 centimeters. The pin is attached at 0.2 meters, 20 centimeters, horizontally with the tabletop using sticky tack. The middle line of the card is aligned with the pin so to minimize the rotation and air resistance as it falls. The card is dropped five times. Each time the speed values are recorded in a table and the average speed is calculated. The height difference between the light gate and the pin is also calculated. The kinetic energy is calculated using the equation, a half times the mass times the speed squared. And the change in gravitational potential energy is calculated using the equation, mass times gravitational strength times height. The height of the pin is increased by 0.01 meters, 1 centimeter, to 21 centimeters. And the card is dropped from this new height five times. This is repeated for each additional height increase of the pin, 22 centimeters, 23 centimeters, 24 centimeters, 
and 25 centimeters. The average speed is calculated for each set of results and from this the KE and GPE can be determined. A graph of change in GPE versus KE is then plotted once all data points have been recorded or calculated. The change in GPE is almost equal to the gain in KE. The gradient of the graph is almost 1 and the y-intercept is almost zero. When the piece of card is let go, the gravitational pull starts doing some mechanical work on the card, transferring some of the gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. Just before it hits the ground, its gravitational potential energy is almost zero, due to almost zero height. Almost all the stored gravitational potential energy has been transferred into kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of an object depends on its mass and speed. By finding the speed of the card just before it hits the ground, its kinetic energy can be determined. GPE is transferred during the fall into KE. In this investigation, air resistance was negligible. Therefore, the gravitational force transferred almost all available GPE into KE by doing some mechanical work. It is assumed that all the change in GPE is transferred into KE. The energy transfer can be mathematically shown like this.